Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at an Oracle SQL and PLSQL programming interview question and the question is find the factorial of a given number. So if you are asked in an interview to write down a program to find a factorial of a given number, it's really a simple question. So let's start. So first of all, what is a factorial? A factorial is a product of an integer and all the integers below it. So if I say 5 factorial, what I mean is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so that is what 5 factorial is 120 or can we say 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 like that way the it's same like right you are just doing multiplication of you know integers below the given integer up till 1 so either way you do it from 1 to the integer or integer to the 1 it's one and the same yeah so this way we can find the factorial so how I reach to 120 is like 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 4 is 24, 24 into 5 is 120. So 120 is the 5 factorial. So uh, let's take another example. If we say 3 factorial, we mean 3 into 2 into 1, that is 6. So here it is very simple that we need to write a program of it. So the program would be like we'll just loop out uh, and multiply from the given number to 1 or from 1 to the given number anyway. Okay so I can just start with 1 and I can do 1 into uh, say 2 then I'll get a result set and then I'll multiply that result set with 3 okay and then I'll get a result set and I'll get multiply that result with 4 so it's a simple loop that runs and in that loop we will be multiplying from the beginning or from the end and we'll taking we'll take that product and then ag again we'll multiply it with the next integer okay so says we start with 1 into 2 after that we get 2 so we will multiply this 2 with 3 the next coming number so we will get one number say 6 then we will multiply that 6 with the next number that is 4 so it will be 6 into 4 24 now we will take this 24 and then we will multiply it with the next integer that is 5 so it will be 120 and then we will just print 120 okay so I will hop onto my SQL developer and we will uh, write this program so I will write set server output on okay and then declare begin and end three things first of all I need a variable to store my integer so let me say it p integer as the variable and I'll give it pls integer okay and the number let's now take as 5 okay and I need an intermediate uh, place a variable to hold the intermediate you know multiplication I'll call it p fact to store the factorials it will be also pls integer why pls integer it is good with multiply it is good with arithmetic operations rather than number okay so i'll just give the place uh, the value of the p fact as one right now because if i keep it as null then i do null into something i'll just result will be null so whenever you are doing any arithmetic operation do give your variable some number if you are doing an addition give it 0 because 0 plus something means nothing if it is multiplication give 1 because a variable into 1 into anything will be the same that's why okay so now as we discussed we'll need a for loop we'll need a for loop for say I'll write a for i in I'll start with 1 and I loop it till my fac my factorial uh, my integer that is given so that is p int I loop this and I need an end loop fine and now what I'll do inside is it what I want is I'll multiply this number one by one every time so first of all I'll get this number I okay that is the loop number that will be one for the first time and then it will increment and go till P int so for first loop this I will be one then will second loop it will be two three four and five like that so I need this I I need to multiply it every time with my result set of the factorial for the first set I don't have the result set I'll just put P fact as it is okay because we are starting we are going to multiply this every time and now this needs to be stored in the same variable so I'll I'll do something like I'll do I into factorial for the first time it will be 1 into 1 so 1 will get stored in this p fact variable next time it will be the next loop so I will be increased to 2 so it will be 2 into p fact is 1 that time so 2 into 1 that is 2 then the loop will go to 3 it will be 
3 into 2 p factor was 2 at that time so 2 3 into 2 that will give me 6 and then it will be the 4th time so it will be 4 into 6 which will give me 24 then it will be 5 into 24 which will be our factorial like that and then I'll just put a dbms output dot put underscore line and over here I'll I'll just write factorial for my variable so factorial for concatenate with variable concatenate again and say factorial for integer is and our final p fact over here okay looks good let me execute it yeah so it says the block is executed completed and factorial for 5 is 120 okay so let's just check whether our factorial is correct or not right so we'll hop on to google and we know that google will give the correct answer i'll just give 5 factorial and it says 120 yes so our answer is correct let's just do it for 7 and see 7 factorial it says 5040 let me see what my sql developer gives my program gives yes 5040 5040 correct what we have done is correct it is giving the correct factorials yeah so now what i'll do is i'll just create a function out of this okay so instead of declare and set server output on i'll write a create or replace function and i'll give the function name as say get factorial okay and now i'll be passing the input parameters of this uh, integer that i want factorial for so i don't require this over here i'll cut it and put here a function always returns something so you need have to have the return statement of return pls integer okay and then you write is and you declare your variables below it it looks fine that is there and you need a return statement so i'll remove this dbms output and i'll just write return r e t u r and return p fact that is my variable so it is there i'll just compile it so I, instead of that plsql uh, anonymous block i just created a function it will get stored in the database it will be pre-compiled state so every time i execute it it would be faster than the um, normally it would be faster than the anonymous block i'll just execute it it says the get factorial is compiled now so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, call the function from a select statement because the function doesn't have any DML or commits inside it We can call it from a select statement. I will write select get factorial the function name pass the argument say 7 and from dual, okay? So when I execute it it gives 5040 as output. Yeah, so you get your output from this way also put 5 in it and give you 120 so this is the video on writing a program to get factorial of a given number i hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, please do like share and subscribe please do let me know your thoughts in the comments this is kishan signing off thank you